Big vans have become a fixture on practically every car maker's product line. For the past 16 years, Volkswagen has been offering a vehicle for big families and for families in the making, the Charan. Last year saw the family bus's hotly awaited second edition. Das handling the Charan is for an auto Praise from the car tester. For a car this big, the Charan handles very well. The shifting is smooth, the steering responsive, and even the pedals look good. Thanks not least to the McPherson front struts and the four-link rear suspension. Even the optional adaptive DCC chassis control was finely tuned in our test car. The ample 125 kilowatt diesel accelerated well and even showed its greener side, even though we never matched the 5.9 liter list consumption. Matuskurat says he was pleasantly surprised by the car's economy. Under six and a half liters on a trip right through Europe is no small feat for a car this size. The Charan weighs over 1.7 tons without cargo. Chrome elements on the front grille ensure an elegant first impression. The blinkers on the side mirrors operate with LED technology. And fog lights are standard on the Highline version. Its 4.85 meter length does not make the Charan an ideal city car. It's 9 centimeters longer than a Passat and 62 longer than a Golf. Matas points out a practical gimmick. Passengers can climb in through a sliding door on the one side and back out the other through another sliding door. The two sliding doors are standard, but the power operation costs an extra 725 euros in Germany. Cargo space in the seven-seater with the third row down is 711 liters, a good 170 less than the five-seater. Mata says the Charan offers all kinds of useful extras to help stow cargo. For example, this net. It can be set up to hold anything that would slide around underneath. It can be adjusted too, which is all quite practical. And with this net, you can separate the cargo space. You have to climb in, then hang it up, and attach it. Whether all this is any use, say in transporting a dog, is doubtful. It might be helpful for smaller items, but the question remains, will you always have these things on hand in the back, or will they just lie around at home in the garage? More practical in his opinion are seats number six and seven. They just need to be flipped up when needed, but they're always on hand. The interior is no nonsense, with little emotion but everything is clearly arranged and easily usable. Drivers will quickly get used to this environment. In our test, the second generation VW Charan put in a very good performance. Buyers get a well-made and clear-cut vehicle, but it comes at a steep price. In Germany, the Charan starts at 29,290 euros. The 2-liter TDI Blue Motion Highline version costs about 36,000, plus extras. And this car here costs 52,500. That's a lot of money. Buyers might think twice whether they really need all those extras.